Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. The Health and Fitness Expo for the Chicago Marathon. As everybody is going in right now, here around noon and Saturday, thousands, to go in and get their packet. Exhibit spot is right on the shores of Lake Michigan. Thousands of people here. Fountain out there, Lake Michigan. Beautiful sunny day here in Chicago. Here's some more of the expo. People making their posters here. Kinds of different things here with the Bank of America, Chicago Marathon, all the stars of Chicago here, trying on t-shirts, all kinds of cool things. So it makes it kind of fun. People smile when I show them the camera here. The merchandise counter of the Nike booth. Right along there, lots of people in here today. Ladies getting their picture taken. How are we running today? Another unique uh, banner here at the Expo. Hello everyone, this is Gary Morgan with the Michigan Runner. Anyway, uh, I'm here at the uh, Belgrade Marathon and uh, one of the directors, what's your name? My name is Dan Nikolic. And, uh, so uh, you're here in Chicago uh, promoting the uh, Belgrade Marathon. What made you come to Chicago? It is really for the first time. One of the reasons uh, that we are in Chicago on Chicago Marathon Expo, one of the reasons is that uh, we found that Chicago is very interesting for us. We are making international promotion of our race worldwide. We've been many times to New York, so it's for the first time here we are in uh, Chicago. Another reason is actually that uh, there is a lot of Serbian people living here in Chicago and in this area. And we know they are interested to come back to Belgrade and Serbia, and that's a very good opportunity for them. Particularly for those who are born here, and they have relatives in Belgrade or Serbia, and they've never been to Belgrade. And uh, so uh, how many years has the marathon been going? This year was 29th, next year is the anniversary, it's the 30th edition of the Belgrade Marathon. And uh, I see uh, you've got 30, you say, uh, how many runners uh, run the, uh, the event? This year we had 6,000, next year we expect 8,000 in half marathon, marathon and uh, around 20,000 in a 5K fun run. So you'll get about, about 11, 12,000 total then? No, it's around 25,000, 20, 25, 28, actually. So 8,000 in the marathon, then 13,000 in the half. No, no, 8,000 half marathon, marathon, and 20,000 5K final. Oh, 5K, okay, that's your big event. Okay, and uh, so, you know, what's the course like? The course is interesting at first place because it's uh, prepared to cover most part of the city, and they're starting in the old part of the city of Belgrade. It's finished there as well, but it's going to New Belgrade, which is basically flat area, so that means it's 70% uh, of the course is flat and the start and finish are really in the center of the town which makes it very interesting and attractive. And uh, what is uh, like the winning time for the men on that course? So, so far it's 2.10. Okay, so it's all fast course. Yeah, it is fast uh, and for the ladies it's 2.29. So. Okay, very fast time. So, uh, well, uh, what would you say the number one reason to uh, bring people to uh, Belgrade? Actually, there are many reasons, but if you ask for the first one is, uh, I guess for most of the people from Michigan and this area is that they never run Belgrade Marathon. So that's one of the reasons. Uh, we may say that Belgrade is a very interesting city. It's a historic old city with many things to see, many things to visit. Uh, I may say, since we've been talking to many people here in Chicago, that uh, uh, they like the prices there. So even the price to, to go to Belgrade and uh, to have the flight there, and then to stay in Belgrade for a couple of days is uh, something that they may uh, uh, afford to themselves. So it's very so, affordable. So, that's well, that's always a consideration. It looks like a very scenic course. You got great pictures here, and I like your logo. So, well, hey, we'll let the people in Michigan and around the Midwest know all about your race. And uh, definitely, it looks uh, something even interesting. I may even want to do because I've always heard it's a beautiful country. Thank you for your approach, and we hope to have the runners coming from Michigan. So, excellent. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. One, two, three. It's all yours.
Hi, my name is Rune. I work for Albatross Adventure Marathons. Uh, we organize five different adventure marathons around the world. Uh, our first adventure marathon took place in uh, China at the Great Wall in 1999. And since then uh, we started four other races. So now we have the Great Wall Marathon in China, we have the Polar Circle Marathon in uh, Greenland, the Big Five Marathon in South Africa, Petra Desert Marathon in Jordan, and the Pagan Temple Marathon in Myanmar that used to be to be Burma. And um, so uh, what gave you the idea to start this? It was our owner of the company called San who got this crazy idea about doing a different marathon. And he said, why not do it on the Great Wall of China? And someone said, yeah, do it. And so he did. Okay, now uh, I'm intrigued by your Polar Circle Marathon. When did you start that one? That one started in 2001. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, it takes place in Greenland, and uh, part of the course is actually on the ice cap of Greenland. So a real adventure, a cool one. How many people usually do that? Uh, it's uh, limited to 200 runners due to logistic, and uh, it's sold out every year. Sells out in a few weeks only, so it's very popular. What about the Petra Marathon in Jordan? The Petra Marathon in Jordan, uh, we have uh, 200 runners uh, every year. Uh, Desert Marathon, it's uh, very warm uh, and uh, a tough adventure as well. But uh, is that limited to 200 also? No. And no limits, okay. so just enter. <laughs> it's safe? It's safe in Jordan. It's much more safe than going to Paris. Okay, that's yeah. what we like to hear. Yeah. And uh, do you go on every trip? I go to all of them to, to organize uh, the actual race. And uh, so, um, any last words? Uncle, you've got some great adventures. Um, and, uh, yeah, when... Uh, we like all kind of marathons and we run city marathons ourselves and adventure marathons but this is a different adventure so when you finish the chasing your your new records you can join us for some real good adventures around the world